Girl, good morning. Uh, this is Jeanette from Makeup Artist, filming from San Antonio, Texas, in this amazing and blessed, beautiful day. My videos are thumb 4K. I use 50% of natural light and 50% artificial light for the purpose of quality of image. Because in real life, we are going back and forth to the indoor and outdoors, okay? My dear loves, I invite you to stay with me as I invite you, please, if you're watching my videos right now, then you can please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. The only purpose of this channel existing in this gorgeous platform is educational. What happened when you see everywhere bombarding you and I'm speaking to you, the people that they would love to have certain palette, but you cannot afford to have certain palette. What we can do if we like to, to play with certain uh, shades, you know, or to do certain makeup look, but we don't have that exactly palette. And I'm speaking specifically about Jaka. And um, Juka in Castilian and Jaka in English. Okay, what happened, my love? That specific palette, all those shades are amazingly in right now. The color story, the one that she created on that palette is just stunning. If happened, and it is the situation that you don't have the palette, okay? I'm going to just play and to show you some of the palette that might be similar and you can find similar colors in another product than probably you have, you know, from past purchases. So I'm going to start presenting you this beautiful palette from Melt Cosmetics. It's called 420. As you already know, this beautiful palette was launched a year and a half ago. But look at this beauty, friends. And I see so far one beautiful shimmer here. They're, the most of them are matte, but beautifully creamy. I'm going to show you just these greens. Look at this. So we have this deep olive green. If you start digging on your past you know, purchases or product that you have, as I did, for example, uh, this palette is from Urban Decay. So if I don't have all the shimmers that I need, look at those metallic shimmer. This is from Urban Decay. Oh, wow. Look at this green over here. And look at this beautiful gold. These are more coppery on the coppery shades, but we can still work in with those palettes. I was reviewing because when I saw this, but she has super deep green shade, like a teal shade on the Jaka palette or Juka palette. Look what I found. And my loves look at this that one on the bottom is this one and this olive green or avocado green is that one this video is not intended to compare anything because all of the palette over here according to the formulation wise they are all Gorgeous. When I saw the yuca the first time, when the palette was advertised uh, from Natasha Danona website, I was thinking, I think I have some colors that I can work with, okay? So I came right away to my studio and I started checking every single of my product. You can use these shades wet or dry, okay? I'm going to make a swatch 
over here. Look at that pigmentation, my friends. Oh my. And I can assure you, I do have the deepest blue on another palette, okay? This beautiful, beautiful palette she launched a long time ago. This palette is the Lightwork Volume 3. Okay, I'm just going to be making a swatch on the shades that are my interest because I'm going to be creating a makeup look. Look at this. Look at this, friends. This is from Vanessa Myricks Light Work Volume 3. So, how we cannot make a makeup look on the green side with shimmers and all what is in today? So, that is the point. I repeat it again. My video today, my loves, is not intended to compare, but to put ourselves in the position what happened if we love so much that palette, but we don't have the money to afford it. It's such a beautiful palette. And I wanna show you something else, okay? I think uh, many of you, my loves, are familiar with Be, Be Perfect. This palette that I'm going to show right now have every single of the shades, not probably they are not the same, but they are extremely similar. Look at this to the Jaka palette. Remember that the Jaka palette they have um, yellows. So, this palette from Be Perfect, my friends, they are highly, highly pigmented. Okay, these are from this. I order from Beauty Bay this beauty and this is a be perfect By Stacy Marie the antidote what a gorgeous palette I'm touching this topic because this is for you my loves look another one from Beauty Bay all this from be perfect and the palette from Beauty Bay I bought it from the store Beauty Bay. So I ordered it uh, from UK. This palette is called Earthy. And this is from Beauty Bay. Look at this, my friends. Look at the color story. I hope that you can take it uh, on the right way, the topic that I'm presenting today. Anyway, I'm going to start. I invite you. To stay pleased with me, enjoy this makeup tutorial. I'm going to be teaching you and showing you every single of the product I'm going to be using on today's makeup look until I receive for real my <laughs> jacket palette. But for today, my loves, we're going to create together a beautiful jacket style makeup tutorial but i did conceal my eyes this concealer my friend is high coverage it's from gash copenhagen this um i like to work out with this specific concealer when I, i'm not color correcting my eyes because it helped me to cancel very quick my dark circles of makeup forever my ultra hd Ultra HD Micro Finishing Loose Powder. I enjoy, you know, setting my eyes prior to any work. We're going to be using eyeshadow powders. And all these products that I'm using, my friend, are very, very lightweight, okay? And over here, because if I have some fallout okay you know and that it always is a risk 
you have fall out when you are working your eyes. And that is the main reason, my friends, that I love doing my, uh, my face at last. And the brush I just use for the purpose is a MAC. It's a MAC brush. I love this brush. It's a multitask brush and it's 24 OS. Okay, my friend on my lips, I have this serum from La Mer. I started already using the palette Be Perfect because the Be Perfect have the deepest shade on the green, okay? So this is what I'm going to do. So starting from here in a very sharp angle, we're going to do something fun together. So I'm going to grab it in a little bit. Considering my love, then I'm working with this really dark shades. I'm not presenting any, any type of fallout. I really want to switch to a very, very soft um, green, okay? Look at this. Wow, this is highly pigmented, friends. Oh, wow. Super, super highly pigmented. Um, I'm not sure about the formulation from Natasha Danona, but I imagine that probably is, is a wonderful formulation. So over here, I go in circles because I don't want any demarcation line. Every color is so beautiful, friends. You can do this makeup look according to your eye shape, okay? So this is how far what I have mapped. As you can see, I am presenting uh, some fallout. Um, Even if I'm checking my brush, it's a lot of fallout, but I'm not worried about it. Look at that transition, my friend. I'm using this gorgeous shimmer over here. Let me show you the shade. It's a metallic shade. It's like a, a silver green color is that one okay so i'm trying to perfecting the application of that one is beautiful what i can tell you wow so when i'm done with this application of the of the shimmers I'm going to make another transition again of the shades over here. This is very creative. Uh, the purpose of doing this is to show you how you can create similar looks, you know, using different palette that can serve for the same purpose. If that is the case, and you cannot afford the real Jaka palette. So, um, we can improvise as well, always, uh, with a different product, okay? Another brand that are amazing as well. And I'm using Urban Decay. A beautiful green goldish shimmer. 
just for the pop color. Because you don't want any demarcation line, my friends. What a beautiful shade. I'm going to show you this one in a second. Wow, is this shade. What a beautiful shade. Urban Decay, that one. This one. So I'm going to make a transition. Look at that master color. Wow. With a small brush. It's some fallout, my friends. But you know, it is always a risk. Sorry, melt. I'm using this second shade green here. So I can make a little transition. Now with my blending brush. These shades, my friends, the one that I just use, they melt and blend into each other like nothing what a beautiful beautiful product to be honest what a beautiful product so i'm going to go and clean this and to come back i just clean all the excess of the fallout on my lower eyelid i haven't reapplied yet the the concealer again because i'm just finishing last chaps And I'm going to apply Gucci eyeliner. There. So look at the statement. Then the little bit of the eyeliner is given to the lash line is beautiful okay and I'm going to do something uh, because we're talking about this is a creative you know a makeup look I really want to apply this ivory shade I always remove the excess just on the eyebrow bone okay make sure every time that you are making a transition of shade that your uh, brushes are completely clean so this is giving more light you know to the eye and i'm going to apply a tiny little bit over here I'm using this shade from the palette uh, from Urban Decay. Because you don't want to lose intensity. So I'm going to put eyelashes. I, th I can't wait to have the actual palette Juka. Look at what I'm doing. A tiny bit of the ivory. I'm applying it on 
around the edge to give even more light. Okay, my friend, I did reapply the concealer on this eye and I did apply as well the setting powder, okay? I'm going to wait until the product set completely before putting the eyelashes. The eyelashes, my friend, is always going to give you a tremendous statement to the makeup look you work. I understand that sometimes uh, we are not in the mood, you know, to do the eyelashes, but uh, if you have a photo picture of you are going to an event and you're going to be in front of a camera, the eyelashes is going to bring so much statement to your eyes. Of course, all these shades are not concentrated on one palette like the Jaka is, but understand that if we don't have the palette, we're going to make it happen regardless, you know, using what we have at home. And that is the topic of this makeup tutorial today. Another thing I forgot to tell you, look at what I did over the weekend. I couldn't be more happy. I went to do my nails. This is called, the style is called Ambra. Hello, hello, my friends. Um, I finish, I clean the eyes. And I keep looking, you know, for any imperfection I might see and I'm trying to correct it, okay? Eyes are done. Now I'm going to show it close. Melt Cosmetic Urban Decay. And the tiny one from Be Perfect. It's called RD from Beauty Bay. I ordered this preciousness from UK. Look at this color store, my friends. You have everything or almost everything what you need. My friend, I'm going to proceed and using my captive to towel or total, and I'm going to apply it on the back of my hand. I normally use with this foundation one pump and half. The coverage on this foundation is, I would like to say light to medium. And my love, I will be linking every single of the product I use today look of the glow that this beautiful foundation my friend is giving to the face this gift from uh, YSL I'm going to use it because this makeup look is considering that we are on summer have an a peachy undertone it's okay. called three jasper a really soft and barely touching the skin This product, my friend, is amazing. So you want to tip, grab the brush from the tip of the handle and start in circles, motion, applying your bronzer, like barely touching the skin. So everywhere where you see bone. And with the remaining on the brush, barely touching my nose. Look at the finish.
If I want to end here, my loves, I can do it. Look at this preciousness. Oh my goodness. The shade, if you are interested, is called Three Jasper. And this one have a, a peachy undertone, my love. Okay, I just finished applying the bronzer from YSL. I'm going to use a blush. Let me see. I can do the Gucci Bright Coral close to the bronzer. This is with a peachy undertone and this is Bright Coral 04. I think it's so beautiful, you know? And let me tell you, I ordered some another one from Charlotte Tilbury, we call it, let me tell you. That woman is driving me literally crazy. If you don't have the technique to apply your product, I'm going to teach you something. Okay, you are going to grab the brush from the tip. Okay, and you are going to start with putty and round the rounding motions. Look at this. What this is doing exactly? This is preventing that you get a tremendous patch. Also, is blending the application, you know, with the product that you apply underneath, but you need to use it with a very soft hand. I'm coming again. It's not that it's a new technique, no, my friends. It is just, it's different ways in which you can apply your product, preventing, you know, those unwanted weak line or stain with a very, very soft hand. Look how pretty the finish is. So the shade that I'm using is from Gucci. Look like an airbrush application, my friends. Let me tell you, uh, all the bling bling that you see me wearing today, I got it uh, Revolt. Oh my gosh, they have so many beautiful things in that store. And my earrings are from Maluka. Earrings came from Greece. Okay, they are. They have a 18 karat gold with a natural pearl and onyx. I didn't contour my face because let us say that we are on summer. Okay, and we are already tan. Okay. When you are done, my loves, is really little bit that you need to do. Since the foundation is very, very, very glowy, but I'm going to apply um, some um, setting powder or face powder from Christian Labutin. The shade I'm using is 10 Neutral. I love it, 10 Neutral Ivory Nude. Look at this beauty. Over there, over here, I'm going to grab just a tiny little bit and I'm going to start applying the product just on the T-zone to don't look really shiny, okay? If it is the case, you don't want for this area to shine too much you can just use a tiny little bit of this product or any face powder that you have at home, okay? Literally, I'm 
just mattifying or taking away the shiny from the T-zone, okay? Look at that. With a tiny little bit, how much I can go. This powder is precious. It's 10 neutral ivory nude. I go neutral in literally everything, my friends. Now for the lips. Look, I have three different type of pencils, okay? Three colors. One that is pretty new, the other one orange, and the other one with a pink undertone. We can benefit from the nude. And we're going to do something here. Okay, when you apply your lipstick directly to your lips, okay? I have just a lip gloss and help me, you know, to go through the makeup look because of my lips have a tendency to dry really fast. If you are the type of person that you apply your lip gloss or your lipstick straight to the lips and you don't lip line your lips, we, by nature, we have tiny little bit of lines all around our lips, okay? And this doesn't have nothing to do if you are old, if you are, if you are middle aged, if you are super young. No, the lines are part of our body, you know, our nature. I have, because I, I smile a lot, I speak literally with my eyes. So that is, let us put it that way. So I have lines of expression, okay? So the same thing happens. Some people are really articulate with the lips and they start developing a lot of lines around the lips. When you are applying the, the lip liner, okay, I want for you to relax your lips. And for example, on my Cupid bow, I don't have much volume. So I normally love to overline the cupid board to give the impression I have a tiny little more volume over there. So we're going to relax the lips, okay? is extremely natural but let me tell you how this is like a inverting okay the lip is bringing the lip outward okay at least is the impression so now we're going to work on the lower I love to paint a little bit the corners because it's the product is going to start bleeding is going to be on this area okay transfer proof look the difference by um, uh, over painting or overlining my lips the impression of the symmetry of my lips are insane I have a very nice line demarcated but the redness of the shade the color of my lips give the impression that my, that my lips are smaller okay so now the corners are in perfect harmony in order to do this to follow that line you paint or apply the same lip liner on the corners 
that is going to help you to stop the bleeding of the product you know if you are going like a two three hour with some product it is going to help you to don't bleed okay on the corner because of, that is one of the main areas that we are normally cleaning constantly now i have this shade which is a, it's a shine lipstick so i'm going to apply this and you're going to see what happens is meaning that your lip liner is going to help you to stop from the product to keep moving upward or downward okay it's super natural because it's a lot of going on on the eyes and um i just want that you try to do the technique okay a person you don't like lip line your lips don't worry this is just going to help you to, like I'm saying, to stop the bleeding of the product. If you want this with eyelashes, give me a second. Hello, hello, my friends. I just finished with the application of the eyelashes. So you can see how much the eye, the expression can change. Uh, the eyelashes is always going to bring a lot of more statement to your eyes. So that is important, you know, that you take in consideration when you are making uh, or you are creating a makeup look, you know, depending on what is the effect you want to give to that makeup look. Um, I think personally that the eyelashes always is the tiny little detail is the complementary thing you know to your makeup look so the makeup look i bring today is this one with this makeup look my friends and giving you ideas and alternatives of what you can do with the palette that you have at home okay if you don't have the money or you don't have the budget to buy new eye makeup shadow a uh, palette okay i'm more than positive friends you have the colors in different palette you just need to put it together and i bring you something positive use what you have at home if you can afford the palette even better but if you can it's not a big deal my friends okay so let me know if you like this makeup look let me know it is bring you some kind of vibes summary vibes because these color are just stunning my friend look at this thank you so much i love you all thank you for being my company for today and if you learn something different you know we're we going to keep talking about the lip the lip lining uh, uh, techniques so thank you again. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. My videos are done 4K. I use 50% of natural light and 50% of artificial light that I use, you know, from my sleigh station. I hope that you like my bling bling today. <laughs> Leave comment. I hope that you like and enjoy this session today. And, um, and I will see you soon. God bless you all. Bye.